Welcome to Panim El Panim. Creating Visual Midrash. We will start in the library. Hi, my name is Deborah Linish, and I welcome you to the second module of Visual Midrash, sponsored by the Jewish Publications Society's online www.yavnet.org uh, virtual Torah study. In the first module, we studied the Sabim. This time, we're looking at the Torah fragments, Panim El Panim, face to face, which appear in Genesis, in Exodus, and in Deuteronomy. We're going to look at the mystery of those words and their implications for the possibility of a connection to the divine. I'm really happy that you're able to join us. We're going to start in the library, where we will study the text and some commentary. We will move, transition into the studio to engage with our hands, with our eyes, with our feelings, in the art supplies, and create visual midrash. When that's complete, we'll move into the parlor where we'll share our art and discuss the pieces as a new midrash that take us closer to understanding and finding meaning in the text that we study. In the studio, the most important thing is selecting the materials. The touch, the feel, the imagery, the color, the shapes become the palette for the creation of the imagery. Voices, each unique together, make the sound of the thrush, invoking everything, your voice, mine, your heart, mine, your face is mine, selves unfolding in our reflection, the divine, a poem created by one of the workshop participants. Manipulating the art materials is also important, tearing, feeling, arranging, coming into contact with the palette, Close your scowling angry eyes and imagine the permanence of death, for your scowling angry eyes will never see the face of God smiling in the eyes of a child. As the materials are manipulated, it is possible to allow meaning to emerge from the created imagery. Hearing one's one voice in the midst of sounds of the other, or seeing one's one face in the face the of the other. Was the children's memorial at Yad Vashem, mm. which to mm. me is mm. the most mm. profound yes, reflection it is. of it is. the other, or of the mm -hmm. panim panim. That's the candle in the middle with, mm -hmm. the, with, with however many yes. mirrors, and you yeah. walk around it, and you yes. see that one candle over and over and over and over. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and so that's that mm -hmm. kind of yeah. helped me with it. Too. And did it solve your, or did it help clarify your thinking about, because you clearly had a trouble there. Right? Yeah, 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 and I solved it by the opening. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, that you could have, well, you could have the tension of a circle and, a, and something that's open at the same time. Well, to me, that's a really mm -hmm. beautiful thing, because that's what Midrash is intended exactly to accomplish, mm -hmm. is to find mm -hmm. in another modality, a creative mm -hmm. modality, an opportunity to struggle with the mystery or problem of the text. Yeah. And, and it can't, it's to, to me, if all you're talking about is encountering yourself, then there's not a lot of point to it. Mm -hmm. 